is Lieutenant Aldo Rain, and I'm putting together a special team, and I need me eight soldiers. Eight Jewish American soldiers. Now, y'all might have heard rumors about the Armada happening soon. Well, we'll be leaving a little earlier. We're going to be dropped into France, dressed as civilians. Once we're in enemy territory, as a bushwhacking guerrilla army, we're going to be doing one thing and one thing only. Killing Nazis. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I sure as hell didn't come down from the goddamn Smoky Mountains, cross 5,000 miles of water, find my way through half of Sicily, and jump out of a fucking aeroplane to teach the Nazis lessons in humanity. Nazi ain't got no humanity. They're the foot soldiers of a Jew-hating, mass-murdering maniac, and they need to be destroyed. That's why any and every some bitch we find wearing a Nazi uniform, they're gonna die. Now, I'm the direct descendant of the mountain man Jim Bridger. That means I got a little engine in me. And our battle plan will be that of an Apache resistance. We will be cruel to the Germans. And through our cruelty, they will know who we are. And they will find the evidence of our cruelty and the disemboweled, dismembered, and disfigured bodies of their brothers we leave behind us. And the German won't be able to help themselves. But imagine the cruelty their brothers endured at our hands, and our boot heels, and the edge of our knives. And the German will be sickened by us. And the German will talk about us. And the German will fear us. And when the German closes their eyes at night, and they're tortured by their subconscious for the evil they have done, it will be with thoughts of us that they are tortured with. Sound good? Yes, sir! That's what I like to hear. But I got a word of warning for all you would-be warriors. When you join my command, you take on debit. A debit you owe me, personally. Each and every man under my command owes me 100 Nazi scouts. And I want my scouts. And all y'all will get me 100 Nazi scouts taken from the heads of 100 dead Nazis. Or you will die trying. Feldwebel Rachtmann, Ludwig und ich waren die einzigen Überlebenden des Angriffs. Ein Mann hat uns bewacht. Die anderen entfernten die Haare. I assume you know who we are. Your elder, the Apache. <laughs> but more than you heard of us, you probably heard we ain't in the prisoner taking business. We in the killing Nazi business. And cousin, business is a boom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, that leaves two ways we can play this out. Either kill you or let you go. Whether or not you're going to leave this ditch alive depends entirely on you. So if you ever want to. Eat a sauerkraut sandwich again. You gotta show me on this here map where they are. You gotta tell me how many they are. And you gotta tell me what kind of artillery they're carrying with them. They can't expect me to divulge information that would put German lives in danger. Well, now, Warren, that's where you're wrong, because that's exactly what I expect. I just take that finger of yours and point out on this here map where this party's being held. How many's it coming and what they brought to play with. I 
I respectfully refuse, sir. Hear that? Yes. It's Sergeant Donnie Donowitz. You might know him better by his nickname. The Bear Jew. Have you heard out of the past you got heard about the Bear Jew? I heard of the Bear Jew. What'd you hear? Meets German soldiers with the club. He bashes the brains in with a baseball bat, what he does. And Warner, I'm gonna ask you one last goddamn time. If you still respect for the fuse, I'm calling the bear you over. He's gonna take that big bat of his, and he's gonna beat your ass to death with it. Now take your wienerson so they can finger and point out on this map what I wanna know. Fuck you. And your Jew dogs! <laughs> Actually, we're all tickled to hear you say that. Quite frankly, watching Donnie get Nazis to death is the closest we ever get to going to the movies. Donnie! Yeah? Guy's German here wants to die for the country. Oblige him. <laughs> You can't tell me, told us what you told us, they'll shoot you. They're gonna want to know why you so special, we let you live. So tell them, we let you live, so you can spread the word through the ranks what's gonna happen to every Nazi we find. Well, ain't that nice? Ask if you're gonna take off his uniform. Ask the for the uniform up today. He's gonna burn it. Yeah, that's what we thought. We don't like that. See, we like our Nazis in uniforms. That way you can spot them, just like that. Just we know the Nazis live in uniform. I don't think they so identified. If you take off that uniform, ain't nobody gonna know you're a Nazi. That don't sit well with us. How many uniform are placed? Why is anyone made us the Nazi costume? How many is it So I'm gonna give you something you can't take off. Time. We're pretty good at that. Why well, you get to Carnegie Hall, don't you? Practice. Curse. Curse. 